Hey, Brayden, what's up? It's so good to connect with you again. You are an impressive young man. You caught my attention last year because you were involved with Hockey Helps the Homeless. And I was just really drawn to what that uh, fundraiser is all about. So um, why don't we just start off with explaining what Hockey Helps the Homeless is. So for those that don't know, Hockey Helps the Homeless is a tournament that they run annually. Um, that helps uh, keep a, like youth off the street, youth in our community. For me, I'm playing in the Durham Region Tournament again this year. So what that means is all the uh, like the fundraising that teams do uh, to play in this tournament, they all go towards the Durham Youth Services, which keeps uh, our youth off the street. So every donation that gets put towards our team. So my team this year, we have two Durham College teams this year. Um, I'm playing for DC Green. There's also a DC White, which is really good. So Durham College actually sponsored two different teams and there's a lot of players. So it's it's a lot better that way because now Durham College is now this big organization, which is probably going to, um, which we actually led last year uh, in fundraising with over $10,000 um, just from Durham College alone. So all, all the money that's being raised is going towards keeping our uh, youth from, I believe, ages, teenagers like myself, like people that are my age and just a bit older, just a bit younger than me off the streets, put them in uh, improper homes, give them uh, food and schooling. And so, yeah, every everything that's uh, that gets donated through the tournament and like the lead up and then the actual games and everything like that, all the auctions uh, all go to preventing homelessness. That's fantastic. And I mean, lack of affordable homes across Canada is definitely a challenge and poverty of course is um, not just local to durham region and then of course we're affected as canadians by inflation and not to mention that covid 19 led to an increase in homelessness across canada actually i looked up some interesting statistics and i learned that between 25,000 and 35,000 people across canada are homeless on any given night in canada I mean, that is a staggering, shocking statistic. And 20% of those people are between the ages of 13 and 24, which is what you just classified as being, you know, as, as youth. And I mean, as a society, we are paying for it. You know, it costs us over $7 billion in in solving this problem as a society. And the government is throwing money at it, you know, $2 billion over the next, 10 years or so, but that's not going to be enough today. And I guess that's why Hockey Helps the Homeless is such an important charity. Um, and it relies on everyday people like you from different communities across Canada to help us raise money for the to, to end homelessness. So um, I'm curious, Braden, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a student, you're into hockey. How did you, you know, get involved with this organization? Oh uh, yeah, so I'm um, uh, as I well, I guess if you can't already tell, I, I go to Durham College. Uh, I'm in the sport management program, the uh, the three year program. I'm I'm in my second year this year, so I started off last year, and this is last year is actually when I found out about it because last last year the term was on it was in February of this year actually, so they're supposed to do it annually, but I guess they pushed it to uh, December for reasons that I don't know. But I'm not complaining because it just means that uh, like more money's being raised in a short amount of time. That's always that's always good too, but. Um, but I actually found out this tournament because it was introduced to us um, by uh, by Nadine Lamarche, which is one of our uh, one of our uh, faculty members. Um, but it was really cool. She uh, introduced the idea, and uh, it was actually like part of our program. We actually got volunteer hours for going to the tournament, um, which wasn't my reasoning at all. Like I'm, I, I like hockey. I've been playing hockey my entire life. Uh, and I thought it was like a cool opportunity to uh, to play hockey with all of my friends in the program, and also raise money to a good cause and uh, and keep people off the street and you know it just it, it helps because I'm having fun now they're being safe it just it puts everything in perspective for me that uh, although I'm having fun there's people that are that are struggling and if I can have fun and help then it just it it, it works for me but yeah I, I always grew up in hockey it's uh, and this is something that I've always wanted to do work in some sort of sports it's always been something that's been on my mind for I can't I can even remember to be honest uh, after the program I kind of want to go into like something in sort of like management or marketing that would be a dream but I want to work like higher up in some sort of corporations maybe pro sport and if you know nothing really comes up after my three years I do want to transfer over to Brock University and do the exact same thing um, and maybe that'll get me some like you know leverage on people that have maybe that maybe didn't take the two years extra at Brock something in pro sport I've always been interested in sports I'd, I I like to think I'm, I, I'm I'm outgoing and I like to think that I am 
um, creative in that way as in like I can find my ways and I can uh, and I can talk to people very easily about um, about their career path and um, and like kind of find information about you know what my future could look like and then build connections and then after my three years or five years are done then I can look towards them again and see what I can do with that. That's phenomenal. I mean, you're definitely on the right trajectory. And I just love how you're leading from a place of giving. You know, Hockey Helps the Homeless hosts the Pro-Am Hockey Tournaments. Um, and they host, I believe, about eight tournaments across Canada. Durham Region is one of the communities that is hosting a tournament. And I think one of the highlights, I guess, uh, when you're a player is that you get to play with some NHL alumni or Olympians. And uh, I'm just curious, um, who have you... Uh, run into or who have you played with in the past um so yeah so as, as i mentioned before durham college raised uh the most last year which was over ten thousand dollars of donations from uh from the school which means that as top donators we got the top we get to um pick our athlete like our first pick for whatever like nhl alumni we, we want to play with and so it was kind of like it was kind of led to us that mike kershalinski who played for who played for wayne gretzky or played with wayne gretzky uh, I think he's a four-time Stanley Cup champion, but that that sort of like that guy we we were like pointing towards because he's got awesome stories and he's got like he's got like a lot of like I see he brought his rings with him. I have a picture like with the actual rings on, which is kind of cool, like in the dressing room. But we uh, we got to play with him, and he actually like he he gave into our like our Durham College because uh, we had like green tape on our helmets, we had green tape on our sticks, like we went full on. Durham College colors and went out with that and he actually was like he put he put green tape on his helmet he, he dove in with us which is really cool um, and then like between games we had like I think 45 minutes between our um, our second and third game or maybe it was the first and second I don't know I don't remember it was, it was a while ago but um, and he was just in there telling us stories and you know how like his draft night went and then rookie uh, rookie pranks and like that kind of stuff so some stuff I can't repeat but um, definitely some stories that um, that I'll never forget, and it's 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 awesome to like have people like that that are um, that have have like that have won all this stuff and still do a lot of stuff for their community and um, and tell awesome stories to people like us who really want to know it and now are really like now we're gonna like hold that for forever. Exactly. And I believe Wendell Clark and uh, Dougie Gilmore, uh, Jaina Hefford, they've all been part of these tournaments in the past in various parts of Canada. Are the games uh, competitive or are they more of a friendly atmosphere? So we actually, um, we thought it was going to be more of a friendly atmosphere, from being honest. We, th we, we went into the tournament, there's three games, we went into the tournament, we were like, okay, we're probably going to win like maybe two or maybe we'll win them all, like there's no problem, like maybe we'll try a little bit and like try and win the tournament. Um, it was quickly given to us in the first game that this is not going to be easy as the, um, as the older guys, for some reason we didn't think of, are a lot better and now they like they took over our team basically. Um, so I think we only ended up the turn with half a point. So we tied a period and that was about it. We didn't win a period. We didn't uh, we didn't win a game, um, but that was definitely like, like we didn't expect it to be as competitive as it was, but like competition for me is always good. It's always something that like pushes me. And um, now that we're expecting something like that, this tournament, um, we're definitely using like intramurals and uh, and open skates to like kind of run practices so we don't get like shut out again. I think we scored one goal last year, so we're hoping not to do that again, but um, we're definitely using our time wisely to try and prepare for the competition that we faced last year and not be as shut out as we did um, previously. Well, practice makes perfect and you're playing with, with a purpose, not just to win, but make an impact and um... It's very inspirational. I believe since 1996, um, Hockey Helps the Homeless has granted over 22 or 24 million dollars to um, partner agencies, and one of those is the Durham Youth Services, for example. And it's just remarkable that they're using a, this type of an effort to raise funds for sustainable solutions and keeping youth um, in safe, you know, uh, reliable home environments so that they can thrive in their life and in their community. I absolutely, I absolutely adore that. If you had a wish and you can just snap your fingers and play with an Olympian uh, or an NHL alumni, 
who would it be? Oh man, that's that's a really broad amount of people, and I don't know if I can pick one. Does it have to be NHL alumni or current players? Going to be something no, like that. Let's, let's stick to the alumni. alumni. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going technicality. Brayden Holpe is technically an alumni now. So goalie on the Washington Capitals uh, won the Stanley Cup in 2018. Like he's been my favorite player for I guess, since I started playing hockey. Something like that. He's technically an alumni now because I don't think he's going to play an NHL game again, which is unfortunate. But if we're going based off technicality, then I'll go with Brayden Holpe. Okay. Well, see, that wasn't so hard. You were <laughs> able to make a choice. Who knows? Maybe wishes do come true. So as far as fundraising, um, did you re- reach your target last year? Um, I did reach my target last year and we uh, uh, we actually like destroyed our, um, me, Connor and T and actually be, like destroyed our uh, our goals because we did our separate fundraiser. But, um, you know, because of school and things getting busy in second year, we couldn't do another one, but we wanted to. We certainly were planning for one, but we just couldn't find the time for it. We destroyed our fundraising goals. I think everybody on the team um, got to their $500, which is awesome. Uh, because that just means more money going towards hockey helps and then everybody well like if you if you want to participate anyways you have to go in there and donate five hundred dollars so i guess it gives people like uh, extra motivation to get it done but everybody got our team got it done and everybody got to play last year so um yeah we we destroyed our goal personally so in order to play in these tournaments, you actually have to, as a player, raise money that then goes, of course, to the charitable cause. Uh, that So every player that's on the ice is actually contributing to the cause. There's there's no free ride. So what is your goal this year? Um, same thing as last year. My goal is $500. I think it's uh, it, it's it's still a lot of money to to them i know it's like so you know some people may think that like 20 bucks 100 bucks maybe like something little and not a lot but it, it, it's a lot to the people that it's going to and that's what's most important is that like all of these little donations and all of these like smaller contributions to uh, my teammates or my competitors donation goals are all going towards the same cause and all make a difference like small or big they all like they're they're all like so life-changing for the people that you know don't have you know, a, a roof to live under, like a and a, a healthy, sustainable lifestyle, um, like I do, and like my teammates do, and like my competitors do. So that that's what's I, mean, I know what the five hundred dollars is for, and it's something that's sustainable. Like if it, it's it's a simple email, Facebook post, LinkedIn posts away from uh, from people getting twenties and fifties and and tens and fifteens, just that kind of stuff adding up, and um, it just it, it's really important that every person. Uh, and every uh, and every honorary skater too. So anybody that has a jersey on that has the last name on the jersey has raised at least three hundred and fifty dollars. Players that are actually on the ice are five hundred, but we have honorary skaters on our team. Which in order to get a jersey, you have to raise three hundred and fifty dollars. So everybody that's wearing a jersey has at least um, provided a lot of money towards uh, towards hockey helps. That's amazing. Everyone has an important role to play. When is the next tournament? So the, the, the next term that I'm participating in is December 1st, the next Friday. Um, so as of right now, it'd be in uh, a week and two days, uh, which is awesome. I'm super pumped for that. December 1st, it's their third annual. So it'll be, uh, it, it'll be fun. So can people actually come out to watch the tournament? To uh, get absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. They can also, uh, I believe they can participate in auctions too. We had a lot of cool auction items last year. Um, signed general sticks. We had a bunch of Durham College stuff there too. We had jerseys, we had hats, we had all that kind of stuff. And I believe there's a lot, I think there's a couple signed jerseys this year. So if anybody's interested in memorabilia that wants to bid on these items that their money is going towards a good cause, then they can definitely come and watch. It's at um, uh, Dell Park Home Center in Oshawa. Um, but absolutely, people can come watch, they can come participate, they can come donate, they can come buy hockey help swag, they can participate in the auctions and, and watch the games. It's it's all day, I think it's from 9.15 to 4.15, I believe is the last game, something like that. So it's, it's the entire day. So if like an hour you want to come watch a DC Green game um, that I'm playing in, um, you can definitely just walk in and, and watch the games. Oh, that's fantastic. So December 1st is the cutoff to donate. 
and you can donate, you can spectate, you can even volunteer, I believe. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways to contribute and uh, make a big difference. Brayden, you are truly playing all out. You're playing with a purpose. It's inspirational. It's impactful. Thank you for making a difference. No problem. It's, it's awesome to see. It's not just me. It's, it's everybody else and everybody else coming together. It's just, uh, it, it's awesome to see and it puts in perspective the people that are suffering and I can, uh, and me being a small part is, uh, is most important to me. Well, that's, that's how big change gets made is everyone pay, plays a small part and we want, we become one giant whole. I'm a big supporter of this event. Uh, I personally contribute. And this year, my two daughters are going to be supporting your um, efforts to raise money. So <laughs> I'm going to get them involved as well. Yeah, it's, it's great to hear. Everybody helps. Everybody needs help. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.